Okay, let's talk about printing and print settings. Some of the things that I'm seeing a lot in the printable publishing world is questions on uh, about print settings. Now, you may be taking and testing your prints and your printables in your own printer before you list them on Etsy, but uh, some things to keep in mind that when you are um, wanting to troubleshoot or do like test prints is to understand your printer settings. So here I've created a real simple card using the Canva templates and I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. So let me go ahead and zoom these in just a bit. Now this is a, a card that is printed on eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And the idea is to have it divided in half into being a five by seven uh, thank you card. So um, as we're gonna go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and download this. So I'm going up to the arrow up here. And as you can see, there is a PDF print suggestion. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And then I'm checking to make sure that all pages are going to be selected. So I'm gonna select all those pages. And then I hit done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And while it's downloading, um, I'm going to check and make sure that all, see, publish stuff successful, download. I'm gonna check make sure that all the downloading process is, is working. Yep, we're in a PDF and it's a thank you for all. And it looks like it has gone ahead and uh, downloaded. So now I'm just going to go down to my bottom of my browser. I'm going to hit um, open. And it's going to open up the PDF. Now I'm using Adobe Acrobat uh, for my PDF viewing situation here. But uh, it's just basically, like I said, we're going to be looking at the print, printing, the printer settings. Uh, that's a tongue twister, isn't it? So. Uh, on my PDF um, print, print here, I'm going to go ahead and go up to the little printer icon and I click on print. Now, I have used various different printers. Uh, my most favorite and the longest lasting printer that I have is a monochrome laser printer. Uh, you may have something different, but um, again, the principles are all going to be the same. So you see this in black and white. It would actually print in color if I had a color printer, but the color part is not um, important at this point. We just want to do like a little test print. So some of the areas you're going to see like in your printer settings, it may be a little different, but again, in general, this is what you're going to be looking for. Your destination, you're going to make sure that you have um, your printer, which is, you know, I have HP LaserJet 1020. Uh, I could save this as a PDF, I've already saved it as a PDF, so um, I don't need to do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit show more. Uh, you can see that I have these other type of printers. I have a Dymo lab lab uh, label writer printer, Turbo. And um, yeah, so I have some other information there. Uh, pages, I'm going to click on all. And I can do um, all the pages, which there is two pages which you can see two sheets of paper. I only want to do like the top print and then when it prints, I'm gonna have to flip it over and print on the other side. So it will print like on this page and then I would want to uh, take that page and then reinsert it back into the printer so it would print on the blank side this page. So in order to do that, I would hit custom and then I would hit click in there and put in page one. So I'm going to tell my printer that it is going to print only page one. And then when I get ready to do uh, the other side, so let's say I'm going to go ahead and print this, it'd be print one. And then I would take that out of my printer and then reinsert it into print page two. I would put in two and it would print this on the opposite side of that. So again, let me go ahead and explain that. We would print page one and it would go through the printer and print. We would take that off the printer, reinsert it with the blank side that would need to be printed. And then we would go through and hit um, and do the print again. And then that time we would put in page two and it would print the, pa the second page. 
Now, of course, we have our copies. We're only going to do one at a time in this case. Um, but if you had 10 of them you wanted to do, you could do, you know, put in 10 here. You could put in, you know, 100, whatever you would need. The letter size, uh, that's going to be your standard, you know, like I'm using U.S. letter, which is 8.5 by 11. Um, I do have the option to do an A4, which if you're in the European market, um, that would probably be a benefit. And then my printer is set up with all these other defaults, envelopes, legal, postcards, uh, and so forth. So I'm just going to click off that. Now this is the key here where you may run into some issues where you're saying, I printed this, I did a test print, and it was huge. It, it did not print um, like I thought it would. Um, and so you can see here where in the scale part it says fit to printable area. Now if I click on here I can do fit to paper and you can see where that changed that dimension. Sometimes it will be at the default of fit to paper. So it would scale it more than um, what you probably had anticipated. So we can also do a custom where I can do a percentage of the paper, okay? And you know, by default, I have mine set at, uh, I think it was like 60%, but let's just do 100 in there. And you can see we have the same um, process and the same effect where it would say uh, fit to paper, okay? If I did the 100%. So let me back up. I'm going to go ahead and go to default. And that's going to, you know, the scale default is whatever the page would be. Um, if it's not looking right and correct, you're going to come over here and you're going to go print to, you can go check it in your fit to printable area. Okay, so it's going to leave this little bit of a border around. Um, I think mine is set to do about a quarter inch border around that. Uh, or you're going to do a fit to paper, or you would do your custom. Okay, so that would be the key if you're finding that your printer is, uh, you know, your test print is uh, looking a little different, is check the settings of the scale. And again, we'll just go back in there, fit to printed area, and fit to paper. Um, this print using systems dialog, I do not use this. I don't, um, I don't play in any of that system. But check it out. Maybe you could find uh, there would be a benefit in there. Um, you know, like all pages, you know, that type of thing. Show details. Again, this is uh, another view of my printer settings um, where I'm checking the paper size, the US letter, which is 8.5 by 11. Uh, I can do the different orientations. Again, it's the scale that I'm looking for. Uh, border, I have none. I can do a single hairline border, all so forth. You know, I can do two sided if my printer had that ability. And I can do layout, you know, paper handling, and so forth. Again, really what you're looking for is in this, um, which I have some presets. I don't I don't mess with is the scale so you're looking to make sure that the scale is correct at a hundred percent or fit to print or uh, fit to um, let's go ahead and do that again <laughs> I always get these a little bit confused be fit to print area or fit to paper fit to printable area or of course a default and custom so again the scale option on whatever printer you have, I, that's what I would be looking for to make sure that um, that is correct. So I hope that helped you in understanding a little bit of doing test prints in your printable publishing business. Uh, every printer is going to have um, their own settings and uh, defaults and so forth. So I encourage you to kind of check that out. Uh, but universally, you know, in general, um, they have all the uh, same features. They're going to have a scale, the page size, the copies, as well as pages, how many you're going to do, and of course your destination. So again, I hope that helps, and I will talk to you again soon in the next video.